Hi. My question for you this week is what is in your employee value proposition? Your EVP says to your existing employees and potential employees, this is what we will give you and provide you if you wish to work for, for us. This is the value you will obtain from becoming an employee at our organisation. And in the time of the great resignation, this is going to be paramount to get it right. If you want to retain your talent and attract talent. So I wanted to talk about five things this week that I believe have to be in your EVP. There is no one size fits all, but I believe there are some core things that you absolutely have to address. This is your marketing into the employee market. So the first thing I wanted to talk about that I believe has to be in your EVP is flexibility. Flexibility and autonomy. We're hearing a lot about flexibility. That's employees saying, I want to work when I want, where I want, how I want. And that's what they're asking for, loud and clear. But what we have to do is also provide autonomy if we're really going to deliver what employees want. So if we look at this matrix and say high flexibility, high autonomy, if we are operating in this quadrant, the bottom left of our matrix, this is where, and we're hearing CIOs say this, everyone back into the office full time. No autonomy being dictated to, no flexibility. You will be in the office and you will be there full time. If we provide high autonomy and say, um, you can choose when you come into the office, but it must be two days a week. You're giving employees choice, but that's very low flexibility because you're dictating the days and why. Why do I have to go into the office on a Tuesday and Wednesday when all I'm doing is really concentrated work? If there's a reason for people to go into the office on a certain day of the week for team building or energetic innovation, then fine. But that should be at a team level, not an organisational a, a dictation. If we're over here and we have high flexibility, so you can work for anywhere, but low autonomy, that's when your manager says so. Can I work from home next week, boss? No, I have high flexibility. <laughs> <laughs> the option to do it, but it's about down to, I've got no autonomy because it's down to my, my boss or my manager. So where employees want to be, and this is what you need in your EVP, is high autonomy and high flexibility. We have principles, not policies. You could have total flexibility and high autonomy. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.